Hi guys, it's me and I'm doing a video for you guys and you're probably thinking why the heck does she look like a state on camera? It's because my hair is down and crappy as usual um, and I have no makeup on because I've been to school and we're not allowed to wear makeup so my hair is a mess because I've just taken it out. It was curly but the curls fell out because I had to put my hair up for my dance and for my PE so the hairs fell at uh, the hairs. The curls fell out so I had to brush through my hair to get rid of the tangles. But I'm going to do a hair tutorial for you guys. So the first thing that I'm going to get is my, um, just my Andrew Barton hairbrush. And I'm just going to brush through the top of my head and round the sides. And I'm just going to brush my hair all the way so it's out of my face. Then I'm just going to brush the back. Just make sure there's no tangles and that it's nice and out of your face. Then you're just going to kind of pull it to one side for a second. Um, then I'm gonna, just going to get this kind of barrel brush and just with the top you're just going to kind of give yourself a middle parting and I have a tangle there from my um, my curls um, I'm just going to get this tropical hair mist which I actually got from Wilkinson's and it was like £1.50 but it smells Smells amazingly fresh, but obviously if you don't like the smell of tropical hair mist or tropical, then there is other scents. But I'm just going to kind of... Spritz it through my hair just so kind of it's easier to get the brush through because we don't want any tangles at all. So if you have quite tangly hair, make sure that you don't have any tangles. Okay, once I've done this, I'm going to um, get a small part of my hair, about that big. And I'm just going to braid it really loosely, because I'm actually going to do a snake braid. But first of all, I'm just going to braid it or plait it like you normally would. Depending on what you call it. So that's just a normal plait, but it's really loose. Because with a snake braid you have to make sure that it's loose. Now the thing with a snake braid, because I have really short hair, I can't get much of a snake braid in. But if you have really long hair, you should be able to kind of get more of a longer snake braid. But what we're going to do is, oh hang on, I'll zoom in for you guys. When you get the ends of your hair at the end of the braid, you should have two, three pieces. My third one isn't showing up. Hang on two seconds. You should have three pieces. So what you're going to do is, hang on two seconds. You're just going to get the two pieces here. Which stick out like that. And zoom out for you again. I bring it down. You're just going to get the two pieces that stick out here, and you're just going to gently kind of tug on them upwards. Hang on. Let me just undo a bit because it's not going to do it because the. So you're just going to get them two and tug upwards like that. And that scrunches it all up like that, and you're just going to pull it down again, just slightly. And then scrunch it all the way up to the top and then just gently pull down on it and it should give you a braid that looks like a snake is kind of wrapped around a pole or like a branch or something and that is a snake braid so I'm just going to pull that back then I'm just going to get this kind of bow which is from Primark it's kind of a really sandy pink colour and I'm just gonna 
actually no I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna get a normal bobby pin first and I'm just gonna secure that with about three bobby pins just to make sure that it stays in place Okay, so two, and then what I do, what I like to do is kind of put two there, if you can see that, two there, and then I kind of get the third one and cross it over the two, like that, if you can see it. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm just going to do this on the other side now. Sorry, I do not have iMovie, so I can't speed it up, but I'll try and do it as quick as possible. Bearing in mind this video is most likely going to be long because I've done, I've, I'm making the video. So my videos are usually like 20 minutes long anyway. But this won't be 20, it'll probably be about 10 at most. So I'm just going to do the same thing, get two sides, pull it up and then just yank it down again. So it looks like that. And then I'm just going to get the three bobby pins again. You can call them whatever you want, slides, bobby pins, um, if you're in Scotland you call them, I forgot what you call them, Kobe grips, I think you call them, most people in America do, uh, in, in Scotland call them Kobe grips, but these is what, this is what I mean, these really thin ones like that, mine are black because I can never find any brown ones, or brunette ones. So once I've done that, I'm just going to tuck that behind my head and bring most of my hair to the side. So I'm going to kind of put it, put my hair to the side. You can always leave it down like that and obviously if you've got longer hair. But because my hair flicks out the end, I pref prefer to keep it up. So once I've done that, like that, most of this hair kind of sticks out. So what I might do is plait this as well, just a normal plait, but I doubt it will work. Just get a really thick plait and pin that back. I doubt it will work. And it probably won't even look like a plait, but you get what I mean if you have long hair. But if you have long hair, it probably won't fall down anyway. So that kind of keeps it out of your face and away. So if, if you had time to do this before you had to get changed or after you got change maybe when you've got PE or something or physical education depending on what you got it or gym whatever you're going to call it if you have time to do it before that because it is pretty time consuming as you can see by the time this video is taken sorry I can't get the pin in so you just kind of want to make sure it's really secure so it could take you millions of bobby pins or it could only just take you a few. But you kind of want it to look as sleek as possible. Bring it back up again. Sorry, I'm recording on my webcam. So that's probably why the quality isn't as great as a normal camera. And that's why I'm kind of moving the screen back and forward. But I think that's kind of the finished look. So... There may be one or two bobby pins you might want to add in. And you can always add in like a bow, like I said. Or a flower, whatever, depending on what you want to put in. Or you could just leave it like I have. So that is my hair tutorial. Sorry it took forever. You can always use um, hairspray, but my hairspray says that it's um, long-lasting, soft-to-touch hold, which is a load of ball bleep. Um long lasting soft to touch hold 24 hour hold without stickiness is the most sticky hairspray ever so that is a total lie 
I hope you enjoyed this hair tutorial and I'm probably going to do a makeup tutorial now so I'll talk to you soon. Bye.